Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of the Ico OH300s. These are a single dynamic drive per side, uh, high res allegedly, and yeah, single dynamic driver. And some specs there, so as usual, full disclaimer, so I'd like to thank Ico or Ico for sending these out to me, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video and all thoughts and opinions are my own. And... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first product I've tried from the company. And yeah, let's get into it. So let's see what you get. Obviously high-res audio, the model, some specs there, which I might probably be on the back as well. So yeah, it's a 10 millimeter composite liquid crystal diaphragm unit. Obviously there's the main materials, photochromic glass. That's quite, quite funky. We obviously will have a good look. 32 ohm pin, 107 decibels of sensitivity. Frequency response range is not high res, from what I could tell. There is uh, something on the App Store, I might have to check that out. Obviously, I, I use Google Play. Uh, yeah, let's have a look. The curious thing I saw about these is the back of the, the, uh, the unit is actually quite nice, what they've done. After sale support, service code. Well, I'm not sure what the second one is. But I, I will check the app. So, normal kind of size. There's the DD there. I like that kind of circuit board icon on the back. It's quite unique. Obviously, kind of normal 2 pin. DD there. Uh, I'm not quite sure what these are actually like for tuning, but... Hopefully this is a good one. Again, I've never tried this kind of company before. A bunch of tips, so I can tell, uh, like smaller bore and uh, larger. Obviously, I'll have a look at those in a bit. And here should be the cable. So not that many accessories, but at least they give you um, a bunch of different tips. And here's the cable. So straight 3.5. Oh, so right angled, which I do prefer. And there's the connector types of, so we'll open this up uh, soon and try it out. Yeah, and that's pretty much it, so no idea what these are like. Hopefully they're not too aggressive for the upper, mid, lower treble, which seems quite common. And yeah, I'll see what the app, the app is about, and yeah, I'll see you in the future. Hey folks, so welcome to my review part of the uh, Ico 0300s. So yeah, this is what it looks like with the cable. Actually, quite a nice cable. So obviously right angle connector, no mic, which I honestly do prefer because it's just basically less to go wrong. But um, yeah, wide split, no um, like chin slider, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's what they look like fitted. Yeah, no, no problem at all. Quite happy with that cable to be honest. And uh, the tips, so it comes with two types. So you to show from the inside if the. So, obviously the left one is a wider ball. Uh, the right one is what I class as normal. And that's the difference. So, small, medium, large for both types. Let's take these off. So, let's talk about something simple. So, power and sensitivity on this set are um, nothing at the ordinary. No problem at all. And that's pretty much it. Normal kind of standard set. You don't need anything special. So fit and the kind of comfort. Now it's got an angle and there you can see but these actually fitted pretty well. They do feel like they stick out a bit so they're quite deep. Um, but honestly I had no no problems with it at all. Surprisingly. I was expecting to be uncomfortable when I first like got them out of the box uh, before I filmed this section but no it's actually not too bad at all. Obviously I do like as well the aesthetics. I like that kind of circuit board. Uh, look, it's a bit different and anything that's different. It can always be, you know, it's a positive thing So timbre this set the timbre on this set this set is actually pretty decent I'm also glad there's no BA. I think some of their models have balanced armatures um, I think the OH is it OH10 I think is a hybrid. I've never tried it, but that's for example But this is a single DD and the timbre on this is actually fine So resolution on this set is I'd say average um it's not amazing but it's not bad it's just normal kind of average these are an expensive set so 
I think these are what thirty pound to forty pound. I think something like that. And yes, so sound stage on this set is actually uh, better than I expected. But I also did find the imaging kind of average. But yeah, the stage seemed yeah sound wider than I expected, which is kind of strange. Um, yeah, so sound really. So let's get into it. So pull the graph up now, so you can have a look. Now these aren't tuned what I expected, so uh, bass, uh, quite a lot of it. They essentially are a V shape, really. But ex um, I like electronic music, so I always do prefer bass. Now I found it bled a little bit too much at the mid range, but these are tuned what I class as fun sounding. I had a friend of mine try these, and he really likes this. My friend of mine likes uh, just normal trance music. He tried these and he loved this set. Um, but I've tried a lot more sets than he has. And I prefer a bit more balanced. But yeah. If you're a bass head. Well or if you do like a lot of bass in general. This is a good set for that. To me it's a bit too much from the mid range. But that's just my choice. And yeah that's pretty much it. Obviously it's got good impact. If you like good bass. This is what this is. It just There's quite a bit of it. A little bit muddy for me friend of mine didn't notice that so yeah mid-range is i found a bit recessed you can see it shoots up from like 1k and obviously was it nearly 600 hertz so there's the mids are recessed on this set which is a little bit of a shame but then again it all depends on what you listen to you know if you want a more balanced sound these these aren't for you but if you do like fun uh electronic tuning like i typically do they are better for that. But um, yeah, I again personally offer more of a, a flatter mid-range. And yeah, so if, you, if, you, if you're if you a V-shot boy or girl, then these are not that too bad for you. So treble, again, you can see it's kind of forward. So vocals on this set are forward. And uh, same for male vocals as forward. Obviously, it depends on their tone and obviously where they sing in that kind of the frequency response. But yeah, the treble, a uh, good stage, as you can see. Um, better, say again, better than I expected. The lower treble is a little bit too forward for my preference. So some things are quite forward, but then it falls off. So my, then some things are fall further back. So some things I found was very detailed and some things wasn't. Again, it depends on what I listen to. If you like, I think orchestral music, these probably aren't for you. Again, I think they're more suited for electronic music to give you more of that punch. Um, and obviously that bass kind of over, it's kind of more band state with the treble because it's a lot of each, again, because it's kind of V-shaped. Um, but yeah, not a bad set if you like electronic, but if you want more uh, like realistic recordings, um, I don't think it's really for you. And yeah, short and sweet really. So what do I think of these? Personally, the tuning is not for me. Um, I think it suits electronic music more than others. If you like, I'd say jazz, classical, anything that you want a more uh, a complete treble, balanced kind of treble response, but more balanced, these won't really suit that. But for like some just fun electronic music, which are bassy, it's fine, like it's okay. Again, the mids are well are recessed. But obviously you can tell that from the graph. But they are, they are they're good if you want just a simple kind of fun set. But I also do like the aesthetics. Because it's always good to be different. The tack, uh, the cable's good. The tips are good. Uh, the, the kind of presentation is good. They obviously they are affordable as well. Um, yeah, just depends if that kind of tuning is for you really. And that's probably, probably pretty much it. Obviously that's what they look like. And yeah, I think I'll probably end it there. So if you think I missed anything or you want to know more, please do let me know in the comments and uh, obviously I'll, I'll reply. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.